Drivers beware, a closure in the West Metro is going to have a big impact on your commute. A section of Highway 169 is now closed for several months. Mary McGuire joins us now live with what MnDOT will be working on and what part of the highway is closed today. Mary, this is a project that got delayed a couple times. Yeah, that first delay was because of weather and the second delay was because the utility company needed a bit more time to secure a line that was near the bridge that is being demolished. But the big morning is finally here and if you use 169 to get to and from work, your commute is going to look a lot different this morning. Now let's take a look at that map to show you exactly what I'm talking about. Both directions of Highway 169 between Bren Road and 7th Street will be closed as the Nine Mile Creek Bridge is replaced. MnDOT suggests northbound commuters take Highway 62, Highway 100 and 394 as a detour. Southbound commuters should take 394 and 494 to get around the closure. Now this closure will affect commuters in Golden Valley, Plymouth, St. Louis Park, Minnetonka, Hopkins and Edina. First on tap for workers will be replacing the Nine Mile Creek Bridge and replacing it with a causeway. It will take them about a month to demolish that old bridge. Next, crews will replace pavement, repair noise walls, replace concrete barriers, and make it easier for pedestrians to get around the area. Now, I have been checking in on the Edina Police Twitter account, and they tweeted out that they will have extra officers out on the roads. They will also have traffic cameras out to monitor the commuters that might be uh, delayed by those detours in place now that this portion of 169 is closed. And Mary, it sounds like this uh, stretch is going to be closed for quite some time. Yeah, this particular closure is expected to last through October, weather permitting. That's the good news. But the bad news is, is that this is only phase one of this project. There could be more closures coming in the summer. All right, Mary, thank you.